Hello students, I wanted to do a little instructional video about how to uh, create markings and lines uh, in both a Word document, Microsoft Word, and also in uh, Adobe Acrobat, a PDF document. So as you can see here on the screen, I have a sample page up, and you have the main menu. This is, by the way, Microsoft Office 10. So you want to click on Insert and what you want to click on are shapes and you can see a variety of different shapes that there are um, lots of different things you can put in here the one that I like to use is this curvy line it's called scribble so when you click on that and that now moving my cursor turns into this X but what this does then I'm gonna I'm gonna left click and then hold down and you can see that I am drawing on this page so draw whatever I like so now this becomes an object. The drawing tools menu opens and now you can format this in lots of different ways here. You can uh, you can make it dark and you can do things with shape fill and outline and various effects. N another way to do this now that this is an object you can right click on it and as part of the menu it's format shape and here you can change lots of different things about it. Um, for instance I want to maybe change the width to something very much wider. That's actually doing that as I do it. Let's change the line color to, uh, I don't know, let's make it red, let's say, or uh, dark blue, or um, maybe a green color, you know, something like that, olive green. Anyway, you can play around with that. So then you would save this the normal way, just file, save as, and uh, all those changes would be kept like that. Okay, so that's how to do it in Word. Let me close this window. I also have a sample page up in Adobe Acrobat. This is Adobe Acrobat Pro. I think it's version 10. And one of the things that you'll do here, once you have a document up, it's really using this comment menu. And what you want here is to click on, so I clicked on comment. I'm clicking on drawing markups. And when I look at those, it gives me the common ones that are used to draw. You can do lots of things. If you hover your mouse over here, it'll give you information about what these things do. The uh, cloud one's kind of interesting. And you can draw shapes and arrows and all sorts of things. But one I like is the pencil. And when you select that, I'm left clicking, holding down. And again, I've been able to draw here and draw whatever I'd like. I can even do uh, dash lines if I want, anything I'd like to do with that. And again, these are objects as well. So when I hover my mouse over this first one, I can left click on it, and then I can click on properties. And now I can, let me move this all over a little bit so you can see. Oh, actually, I kept them all together. Uh, let's make it uh, four point, and let's change the color to blue, something like that. And you can make it default properties, some other things. So there's that one as well. And then you can scale this and do some different things, whatever you'd like to do with this. And uh, then when you're done with this and you like the changes there, you can, uh, you can uh, click on File, Save, and you can save those as well. So that's how to do both of those. And once you save those files, then you can just upload them to the Course Blackboard site. And uh, if you have any other questions, just uh, email me and let me know if uh, you need help with anything else.